guys, so for this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of all the Amiibo that released recently with Super Mario Maker. Uh, we do have Super Mario Maker here. And then I also do, yep, have the 8-Bit uh, Mario. I am in the United States. I actually live, like, I could drive to Canada and go and get the Super Mario, um, the, well, the 8-Bit Modern Color one. But I feel like I'm just going to wait until that comes out to the United States. That's just, oh, I can't tell you how much that irritates me. However, uh, we do have every other single Amiibo. We're going to unbox it, close look at it, unbox this, and then this will probably be my gaming video of the week. Maybe I'll do a little uh, let's playing of other levels because if I try to make a level, I promise you it's going to be the longest video ever. It's going to be whatever, like take a long time and I will babble and like I'm doing now. So we're just going to get to opening these things. Okay, so we're going to open the 8-Bit Mario now and as usual, I start from the very back corner. I can hear it. I can hear all your cries and your whines and your screams. Don't open that box! It's gonna lose its value! And I... You should tell on my channel now that I have no interest in like selling my Amiibo or anything like that in nature. I looked like I was making a really weird face probably right there trying to open this, but I'm just trying to be very, very gentle like I usually am with my amiibo because I, uh, aha, there we go. And we slide that out the back, uh huh, there we go. And this is definitely the heaviest amiibo that is currently out. How do you get him out? There we go. Yeah, he is currently the heaviest amiibo that we have out right now. Uh, definitely really nice detail. Absolutely top notch on this one. Oh, you have a little dot there. Dang it. Oh, I got it off. Okay. Okay, now, to be completely honest, I thought that uh, Zero Suit Samus was gonna be the hardest one, one of the hardest to come across, because I felt like, I don't know, maybe it's just speculation of everyone else saying, oh, she's gonna be the hardest to come across, and because everyone's gonna want her, but um, what I did, I ended up pre ordering everything on Target's website and um, the only one that didn't come today was Almar so I picked up an extra Almar uh, and Bowser Jr. those were the only ones that came in from or those are the only ones I actually went out and bought today and then Super Mario Maker I am gonna be having an extra Almar so I'm going to be having that extra Almar that I will be getting let's get that out for a giveaway for you all um, I will do it as the same with uh, Sheik, uh, tag that along with the 3,000 subscriber mark when that gets hit, that will be given away. And with Sheik, I'm going to be doing it custom if you would like me to, otherwise I am going to be just giving it away. But here is Zero Suit Samus and very, very nice detail, love it, love it, love it. And then Bowser Jr. But yeah, as I was saying, um, my Toys R Us I went to. There was probably around 70 people, 80 people in line by the time they opened. And I was fearful of not making it in time because I got there at like 9 o'clock because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be that worried. You know, Greninja was good, so Bowser Jr. should be good. And like someone said that a possible number of stock for Bowser Jr. was 50 and I was like, no! Um, but fortunately, they did a fantastic job stocking not only Bowser Jr., but they had a lot of all of them. I was really surprised, and that's why I picked up the extra Omar. So, oh, it looks so cool. I can't get over how cute and adorable, and should I be describing Bowser Jr. as cute and adorable? I think I will, but just, I don't know, the Amiibo just looks so great, and I'm really excited to um, use these in Super Mario Maker. Uh, to see all the little 8-bit versions of them. I'm really looking forward to that. Next we have Dr. Mario, which was the Target exclusive. And it was really funny. When I got them in the mail last night, it said on there, a uh, Nintendo Amiibo Dummy 1, Dummy 2, Dummy 3, and Dr. Mario. So that just proves if you don't go to school to become a doctor like Dr. Mario, you'll be a dummy. I don't know. I just thought it was the strangest odd thing. So I want you guys to comment down below, tell me what your favorite amiibo is from this past wave that just released. And 
Why aren't you opening? Why aren't you opening? This one is very, very, oh my. And voila, we have birthed the Dr. Mario. And he's got the little pill. I wonder if they were gonna come out with a Dr. Luigi because it would make sense with the game that they have on the eShop where it's Luigi, basically, instead of Mario. So yeah, Dr. Mario. And of course, Olimar. Um, I want you guys to tell me which is your favorite color pick. I feel so bad, the yellow Pikmin is just hiding in the back. You can't even see him. That's so sad to do to him. Um, but yeah, so I picked up Almar as an extra. Again, like I said, Almar is going to be a giveaway amiibo at 3,000 subscribers. So if you would like an Almar, I will let you know how to win it when we hit 3,000 subs. Basically, I'll just do a video that says leave a comment down below kind of thing and it'll be chosen at random, most likely. And Oh, Olimar just looks so cute, and the Pikmin looks so cute, and I'm kind of scared, to be quite honest with you, when the, there we go, uh, when the Amiibo cards come out, and the Animal Crossing Amiibo come out, uh, yes, I, I'm probably going to be going after those too, because like I said, I'm a little bit of a nutcase probably when it comes to the figures and Amiibo, but, um, all the Pikmin look really good. I just feel so bad for the all being behind. And I think the blue one is definitely my favorite. Uh, I always love, I'm just kind of, blue's my favorite color. And I love water. But, um, oh man, I just like how, ah, you can mend that. Um, Last but not least, Ganondorf. And I cannot wait to put him up with the Legend of Zelda section of the Amiibo because it's, it's, you can't have a Legend of Zelda section without the proper villain. And I think we've got... Okay, so that's how I need to open. Of course, the very last one is the one I open the cleanest. But I just... I love getting the bigger ones because it just shows how much detail that they really... Like, for a line of toys, uh, for interactive figures like this, they really made them look really well done and just the every little detail I'm just so happy with each wave I just feel they keep getting better on oh, oh my gosh the cape you couldn't even see that um, in the package so oh my gosh that looks fantastic oh can I wait to display him least for unboxings completely we are going to be opening the Super Mario Maker. I did get this at Best Buy and I noticed they didn't put a sticker on here which actually I'm really happy about because I'm one of those people I always have a tendency to rip uh, the box whenever there's a sticker of some sort and woo because then I'll open it up. Alright, so this will be the Super Mario Maker booklet and things about level design. But yeah, it's just a beautiful art book of different levels for uh, Super Mario Maker and maybe like little tips and tricks and as well get some ideas. If you did get the digital copy of Super Mario Maker, you can contact Nintendo and they will ship you a uh, actual art book if you so desire. I will link that information down below because I know that is a concern to a lot of people. So you still can get a physical art book even if you did purchase it digitally on the Nintendo eShop. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. It'll let you know when I upload new videos and if there's ever a delay with videos um, of that nature. And thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!